today is a big day in our Icelandic adventure, as if every other day wasn't. Today we are participating in a excursion. I can't remember the word. Bless your walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an excursion. How are we feeling? Pretty excited. I've done it once before, mm -hmm. but it was like 10 years ago. I can't remember if it was, if it was this exact glacier, mm -hmm. but um, I'm a little bit nervous. As I always am for excursions, but yeah. I'm pretty pretty excited. I'm very excited. We're the first ones here pretty much on the car park. There's not many other cars around. So we're just gonna sit and wait and assess when to get out of the car to get into all our gear and get hiking. Yeah, let's do a test walk. See how you feel like trying it like that. Thank you. Look, you have a very big shoe. Big feet, big problems. <laughs> How do I look? Stunning. We're going to climb a glacier. We're going to look at viewpoint first, which is 10 minutes away. Mm -hmm. And then get the crampons on, get the ice pick ready, and off we go. A few interesting facts is that there's a volcano underneath this glacier and the biggest risk of that volcano is that if it erupts rather than the lava being a concern it's the flooding of the glacier that would just cause absolute destruction and then when that volcano erupts due to all the volcanic ash it adds two kilometers of coastline to Iceland which is absolutely crazy Going a little bit higher up the glacier. Laurie's doing really well. We just had some glacier water. Very refreshing, especially when we've got our water bottle. Again. <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> no, so is that? I actually, yeah, it's better than the film. I, I thought, thought gonna, I was. I thought you were going to hesitate, but you went straight for it. Well, I thought if I hesitated, I'm going right down that. Crack in the glacier. Oh, well, that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna head back down the mountain now. That was amazing. That was amazing. We're back from our glacier hike and it was something else. I think it was the highlight of my trip, but to be fair, I probably mm. said that for every single mm. excursion and highlight that we've been to so far. So yeah. feeling pretty good right now, but both Very really good. hungry. So we're heading to town, restock on some supplies and then head to our next stop. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So we're just sitting on the car park after we finish our glacier walk and notice how busy the car park is now. We were one of, I don't know, four people when we got there this morning, about 10, 10 o'clock, no, it was about half nine. Tour started at 10. We were the first ones on the glacier. We're the only ones on the glacier. And as we started our descent back to the viewing point to the start of the trip, there was, we passed, I would say at least five other trips full of, you know, 20, 20 plus people each. So, yeah, super busy. <laughs> 
so please go early if you want to catch the excursion at its best. From the glacier we drove 40 minutes to get to our next stop, Black Sand Beach. finally getting over the nerves of putting a camera on a rock in front of everyone and talking to it on my own. So here we go. <sighs> Having a nice peaceful evening on Black Sand Beach. Ah, it's really really nice and peaceful. There are quite a few people here this evening but the actual sound of the waves and the Black Sand which is actually volcanic ash is actually a really nice landscape for the evening. It's a really nice way to end the day. It's funny really because we started the day obviously with our glacier hike which is funny because the glacier is actually situated just right here just over my shoulder. I don't know if you can see it very well but we've sort of stayed in this area today so you can sort of see where we started this morning and then we've done a complete full circle and we're now on the other side on the beach having a relax. So after the beach, we're going to get Matt some coffee, make sure he's caffeinated and we will proceed with our journey. <laughs> 